Good morning. This is Scorpio. And just Scorpio. <laughs> uh, apparently Aquarius is out. Alright, so we did a video the other day about the Matrix itself. And so I think we just want to do a quick follow-up just to quickly go over like some things, top five things you can do to sort of get out of the Matrix if you wanted to and you're like uh, someone starting with this. So uh, Leading off with number one, spirituality. I don't think that should be number one. Well, it's not rated number one. It's just one of them. Okay. Okay. And the big thing about that is spirituality is not the same as being religious. Uh, religion in itself, a lot of the times, pretty much for the most part, unless you bring in some of the older religions like Hinduism and stuff, is actually kind of a matrix in itself. Yeah. Um, if anyone who's starting to actually wake up will understand this, you know, like a lot. But... Um, there are some spiritual, like if you can find some ancient spiritual teachings, uh, a lot of our ancestors actually kind of knew what they were doing. Like there's a purpose to spirituality, there's a real purpose to it, and connecting with the cosmos and connecting with the divine, okay? But obviously religion was brought in to control everyone, right? You know that. But find your spirituality. Um, is That's important because... Uh, Otherwise, you're just awake and lost still, I would say. And then number two, we're going to say is food. Uh, food is one of those ones that they add a lot of chemicals and stuff to your food to kind of stop you from waking up. Um, <clears throat> Keep you yeah, asleep. Exactly. There's the your, their pineal gland and uh, different uh, things in your body because everybody knows like uh, your brain sends out different electrical impulses throughout your body and if your pineal gland and your third eye are awake it's allows you to have a deeper connection with people and spirituality as a whole so in different foods obviously the ones that are non-gmo and organic are the best ways to go i would try to limit meat intake to fluoride is a big one yeah, fluoride um they put aluminums and titaniums in the foods in different types of oxides because your blood needs oxygen so it helps get through your whole system and those are two of the most non-conductive metals that they can use that can be brought down to a molecular level to actually stop your body from processing and functioning properly okay, so basically stay away from fluoride any chemicals basically there in your food but fluoride is yeah. a big one because it's in cleaning product you know, like your toothpaste and it's in water also so it you need to make sure you get a fluoride filter and stop using fluoride toothpaste. Those would be the two main routes of fluoride. Yeah. But that's a big one because it, it directly affects like your pineal gland and other areas of your body. Mm -hmm. um, and then any, really any other chemicals in your food. So yeah, you, you want to kind of just go as much whole food as possible, organic, non-genetically modified foods. Um, try to lean toward a vegetarian diet. And if you are using animal products, um, try to obviously make sure you're eating something that's organic and minimally processed and that they're treating the animals, you know, nicely or whatever. We're not here to tell people to be vegan and don't eat meat and don't do this and don't do that, by the way. We're just saying that if you want to be more awake, this is the best thing you can do for yourself spiritually on a mm -hmm. deep spiritual level and uh, just living your everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, number three is truth um a lot of times people think they're like awake or awoke or whatever they want to say and in reality it's like they're still in the matrix they're just in a different part of it um there's some people that are like oblivious to what's going on and there's people that believe they know what's going on because of what media is telling them or because they think they're free thinkers but well, ultimately there's something different than that well try not to cherry pick i mean if you want to wake up you should be you want to be out of the matrix. I mean, you should be, um, your should, goal should be to find the ultimate truth and the truth in everything. And it's not good, I guess, if you just cherry pick the truth. Because a lot of people will do that. A lot of people yeah. are on the, uh, what can I name some? Okay, there's the vegan movement, I guess, but they don't, they're not really into anything else. A lot of people know the media is fake, but they still eat meat or they still believe the earth is a ball that spins around and a lot of other things it's good it's probably a good thing to basically try to get the whole truth in cherry picking you're kind of yeah. 
<clears throat> be splicing very, yourself, your soul up, or splicing your spirituality yeah. or something. But be very open minded. You need to research all sides to make sure you have a good understanding because there's going to be obviously biases on both sides of everything. And then you just need to look a little bit deeper, find out where their sources are coming from and everything. It's like just the typical when you're research. Looking for the when you're looking for truth, yeah. you need to like really look deep and you need to actually have some critical thoughts. You can't just take what someone's saying and just believe it's what it is. Yeah, because then you're just, uh, you turned off the TV, but you just still believing what people tell you. Yeah. You have to have a critical mind and a deep, like, sense of wanting to know the truth, because there is truth, deep divine truth out there. Mm-hmm. And um, cherry picking is not, Yeah. you just pick what you want to believe. That's kind of, you're putting yourself back into, like what you said, like a, a bubble of the matrix still. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which leads us to number four, um, TV and TV media in general. Um, stop listening to it. Stop worrying about it. Stop being a part of that because it's made to divide people. It's made people have lots of emotional responses that don't necessarily need to be going on. There's always someone dying. There's always someone being sued. There's always someone making a ton of money. There's always it's it's. There's a lot of negatives, and they always end with, like, a little glimpse of hope, but it's, it's like, it's all oh, fake. Yeah, I mean, and I can't say 100% if it's all fake. Like, I don't know for 100% sure if there's a little bit of truth to some of the news that's on too, but the point is, it's like, their goal is to control the way you think and feel about your life and everyone around you by showing you what's on TV. So, and what's going on on TV really isn't important to your truth seeking and your spirituality so basically just turn it off just stop yeah, watching it exactly. <laughs> it's not important and trust us here it isn't important just try if you if someone watches tv or listens to the news a lot just turn it off for like a couple of weeks and see how different you feel <laughs> yeah um and then leads us to number five which is kind of a part of that as well it's the company you keep and the people you surround yourself with the people that you have in your life the people you talk to the, it's like if you're just talking about negative stuff all the time, like what's happening in the news, so and so did this, okay, so around did that, people like that, or negative people in general. It, just being around it, it can prevent your uh, con- raising of your own consciousness yes. by being around people that are still in that area you're trying to get away from. You know, it's it's the collective consciousness. It's like people they know what it means. They know what it's been like. They've experienced it themselves many times, but they just probably just don't know what was going on. You surround yourself by a bu- around a bunch of happy people. Everyone's happy. Everyone's having a good time. Everyone's just enjoying themselves. You surround yourself with a bunch of negative people. Everyone's mad. You're mad for no reason. You're just like, why am I mad? I'm just mad. If you're around a bunch of people that are trying to free themselves from the matrix, you all will go on this journey together. Some people get left behind because it's, gonna be, it's uncomfortable for some people. But at least surround yourself with people that are like-minded in, in a like, positive way. Yeah. Um, basically, if you're trying to get out of the matrix, you need to be around people who are also trying to get out of the matrix in, in every part of your life, not just, you know, on social media, the friends you hang out with every day, you know, your family around you. Um, if you start going in the direction of seeking the truth, you're going to, um, a lot of these people are going to automatically start falling away from you if you're authentic yeah. to your, if you keep with your integrity of trying to seek the truth. And a lot of these people in relationships are going to fall away naturally, and you'll notice that. But it's okay mm-hmm. if that happens. But basically, be a conscious. And then when you start to leave the matrix, because when you start leaving the matrix, it changes your level of consciousness and your whole energy to where you can't even stand being around people that are at a lower sort of vibration or lower conscious level um, and you'll be able to immediately pick up the people that are at that lower level level too so you'll you have a sort of an internal like uh what do you call it a a litmus test or something yeah, pretty much after a while you'll be able to you know who you want to hang around and not hang around just by looking yeah, at them it, pretty it, much. And then it's like you are sense around it. them, you become very uncomfortable pretty quickly because there's a lot of stuff that, that's going on with them. You're like, ooh, that's like rubbing It's like a mixing of way. energies or something. You don't want to mix in negative energy. And people will start to pick up on you as being a positive or like there's something about you that people are like attracted to and they don't know what it is, but it's like it's just because you're becoming an overall just better person and you're releasing yourself from a lot of the things that the different chains that society has put on you. But uh, 
I guess those are the main five things and um, we can talk about our journey through those main five things a little bit more later and whatnot but um, this is like a starting point I guess yeah this is <laughs> Which, just the beginning yeah the beginning point yeah all right well that wraps it up for today so this is Scorpio keep it short and Aquarius <laughs> all right bye <laughs>